In this video, we're going to take a look at the uh, Launchpad User 1 mode, which is for triggering drum racks. And um, we're also going to do a little trick in this where we can get some uh, visual feedback so that the uh, LEDs light up on the Launchpad as well. So let's take a look at this. Now my little um, visual metronome at the top there, we'll come back to that in the next section. So to enter notes in this loop, all I need to do is uh, play a MIDI clip and I've assigned a button to the overdub switch. So when the overdub switch is on, the notes I play will be input into the MIDI clip. And if it's switched off, I can still hear them and audition them but they won't be input into the clip. And in this project, I've set the record quantization to 16th notes. So now, let's delete all the um, tracks and I'll show you from scratch how we've put this together. So we'll just get rid of these. Uh, the resample tracks just to record the uh, sounds. So you can ignore that. Okay, we'll insert a MIDI track. And we're just going to stick in a, a drum rack. So you can use one of the preset ones. I'm just using one I prepared earlier. Record enable the track. Go to use one mode. Okay, so we can play the sounds, but by default, nothing's nothing's being sent back to the launch pad at the moment. So what we need to do is some MIDI routing. So we'll create another MIDI track. So we just need to create a MIDI track that takes its uh, MIDI from the drum rack. So we go to MIDI from and choose drum rack demo in our case. And we set it as monitor in so it can receive the MIDI. And the final part to do is to send the MIDI now back to the launch pad. Remember, these will need to be set up as a remote inputs and outputs in the uh, MIDI configuration page. Now we need to assign a MIDI button to the monitor status section so we can toggle the uh, monitor on and off. And the reason we do this is if Ableton sending notes out to the launch pad, um, in the user one mode it'll make sense. Those um, notes will come up on the drum rack. However, because the rest of the launch pad sections, so like uh, session view and mixer, also um, are basic MIDI notes. If we have uh, Ableton sending notes 
to the launch pad and we're in one of the other modes, you'll notice that um, LEDs start lighting up in unexpected places. So uh, we, we use this, we'll turn the monitor off when we're in any other mode other than user one mode. In the next section, we're just going to take a look at how we did that little LED metronome trick. And it's very simple. We just have another MIDI track. Let's call this one Steps. And we need to send this to our launch pad output track. That way the uh, monitor button will work for both of these. And it's basically just a MIDI clip with these particular notes. And we're just playing the notes that those cells would normally output. Let's take a look. So there you are, you can see the steps. And um, so if we play this, you'll see. There we are. And obviously, depending on which order you put the notes, you could have the metronome going in a different direction or LED just pulsing on the spot. Now, an interesting thing I've noticed was if you add a velocity MIDI effect, changing the velocity actually um, changes the color of the LED. So by changing the velocity values of the notes that come back to the launch pad, you can change the uh, color of the LEDs. And um, you can either do this with the velocity MIDI effect, or you could just dial them straight into the uh, MIDI notes in the clip editor.